Ah, that's a good one. Okay, well, man, I'm telling you, man, that, that you sound incredible there, man. Everybody My buddies are here on this frequency. We're just right chewing. I'm going to turn on the audio and listen to the difference. I'm going to turn on the noise blank curve that's built in Thetis. That's reduction two. No off. I'm going to turn on the NR1. Here we go. I'm going to turn off NR1. I can't even hear Doug. Well, I appreciate it. It's Mike. I, I, I had help uh, before Thetis from you guys. Was, uh, He's S9 plus 10. You know, guys started out. I was running SDR console. And then when I use NR1, pain. it's going to attenuate some of that signal. So it pulls out. His, I've been running that to hear you his guys signal. in 4K back in the day when I was running the 3300 here in the shack. So uh, the learning curve wasn't too bad. So you can't really rely on the S meters when you're giving signal reports. I I'm going to use this NR1 just for rack chewing. It's uh, pleasant to the ear. This is how I used to do it. NR1 is off, and this is how I used to run it. I just used the, the noise blanker. And then I can attenuate it if I ever get ADC overload. Yeah. That that's the best. And our one on. Attenuation back to zero, and turn off the uh, Thetis noise blanker. Yeah, I was getting the signal just before the IF tap. Uh, with uh, using that uh, and, and uh, using that to get the signal in before it's uh, going to process the radio. Uh, He's S9 plus 5 with all the noise, the power line noise in my vicinity of my QTH. And now it's on. NR is, NR1 oh, is on. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. I could have could've done it without you guys, you know? Okay, guys. Man, this thing really works. Um, this product is um, custom made from Greece for now. I'll leave the link on the description down in the, in the bottom. So, yeah, you guys can email uh, email the contact and um, maybe perhaps purchase one. I bought this out of my own pocket, folks. This is not donated, and I'm just here to use it. Yeah, give it a try, review it, and, it, and it's working. All right, cool beans. What do you think about this uh, NR1 from SV3ORA? It's made from Greece, and um, I'll leave the link in the description below where you can uh, get one of these. Maybe perhaps you need to email him first because he makes these by hand, um, made to order. So I, I, I like it. So I need to get some uh, coax, perhaps, instead of having any adapters, uh, get a BNC to BNC, BNC on the NR1 to the BNC of my Anon G2, because they both use a BNC connection instead of having a um, PL259 with a, a, a converter, an adapter. Hey, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe. Leave me a like and a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about this new device. Um, as far as I know, I'm the only one that I, I've heard of it. Um, it's almost like a, a um, what do you call those eliminators? I, I have a, I had a, a uh, QRM eliminator. Um, it required to have a sensing antenna. The, the main thing with this, so the signal goes to this box before it actually goes into your radio. And uh, you cut out some of that uh, QRM. Um, and uh, interference RFI specifically here in my QTH is that power line noise. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. 
Thank you for watching 73 and have a great day.